Hello, welcome to this CMC Markets trading update. So we're asking the question, is September really that bad for stock markets? Now on the screen at the moment you can see we've got our US 30 Dow Jones Industrial Average chart. I've actually highlighted each September in the last seven or so years dating back to 2009 and you can see that actually in this bull market that we've had September mostly been a, a positive month so you have to keep a context on this we've had a very strong market every almost every month has been a good one now looking back further over time September is without doubt the worst month of the stock market is it bad for trading no not necessarily it can be very good for trading but in terms of its monthly performance it is the worst so just to let you know here that in terms of the Dow Jones Industrial Average it was created in the late 1890s and September has produced an average loss of 1.1 percent out of all that time all the 11 other months of the year in contrast to produce an average gain of 0.8 percent so it's the only losing month statistically in the history of the Dow Jones Industrial Average um, look at another statistic uh, since the late 1800s in more than half of the decades since then September was either the 11th or the 12th worst performing month so we can look back at a couple of historical events like uh, Black Wednesday that was in September when uh, we the UK fell out of the the RM and we had a big drop in the pound caused some trouble in stock markets um, a few other events that took place in September but those single years they actually don't explain it and to, to a large extent it is a bit unexplain unexplainable um, now let me show you some some charts just to kind of put this into some context here so we've got the the US 30 our proxy for the Dow Jones on the screen here let me pull this chart in front for you and you can see here that um, looking at monthly changes over the last uh, the monthly percentage change over the last hundred years fifty years and twenty years it's it's just um, it's just September that falls into that last hundred years character um, characteristic and uh, only a couple of months mildly in the, the 50 years characteristic and uh, and then a, a couple more in the in a kind of 20 year period but you can see undoubtedly highlighted there in this chart from bespoke investment group that definitely all three time periods it was the worst performing month switch that over um, just to show that it's not a Dow Jones specific story here we've got some stats put together by Bank of America Merrill Lynch and you can see that here since uh, 1928 a slightly different period of time it was um, a couple of other months February and May have seen small declines but an obvious outlier here where September has seen an average monthly decline of minus 1.16 percent and again uh, just to make sure that we're we're not talking about a purely US phenomenon here this is a bit more international in nature if I pull this other chart in you can see that actually in terms of the FTSE 100 again on a slightly shorter time period this one's 1984 to 2014 put together by Lowe's financial management here you can see that there's been a couple of other weak months um, but September again way out there in terms of its its worst monthly annual perf uh, monthly performance um, in, compared to all the other months <coughs> so why is this um, no one actually really knows it's just theories um, uh, one idea is that investors are more prone to sell stocks when they return from their summer holidays makes some sort of sense uh, mutual funds they have their fiscal years oftentimes ending in September so what they'll often do is something called window dressing where they'll sell a bunch of their shares to, to make profits to make the fund look more profitable uh, than perhaps it really is and while keeping the losses still on the books and not actually declaring those um, the other thing uh, another theory put out there is that investors have to sell stocks in order to fund the tuition the school and university tuition of their children again probably not enough to explain a, such a consistent phenomenon but uh, uh, that there, there we have it there's a few possible theories there what do we take away from this in a raging bull market you know you I think the bias is still for a, a positive month but you've got to be aware that this is a statistic that's carried on over 100 years September typically a bad performing month so so take care with your with your bullish bets in September thank you Jasper signing out